Hi, it's Carrie. Bengo Tiger. Tigers coexist with other predators such as leopards, Asiatic wild dogs, brown bears and wolves throughout most of their range. Usually there is little interaction between species, especially since tigers are mostly nocturnal and the other species are mainly diurnal. Please subscribe and turn on notifications. Crocodile, the largest specimen, was found in Odisha and reached 7 metres in length. With reproduction, there is a complex mating ritual which includes them rubbing their heads and bodies together before they mate in the water. A female crocodile can lay up to 60 eggs at a time. Mugger crocodiles are found throughout India. They average about 4 metres in length. Gharial, the largest one found in the wild, was a specimen that measured 5.9 meters. It is the rarest crocodilian species. Wild water buffalo. Both sexes have horns that curve backward into a crescent shape. The record horn length is just under 2 meters, the longest amongst cattle or any other bovid. The wild water buffalo is a huge animal, nearly 3 metres long and 2 metres tall and weighing up to 1,200 kilograms. Snub-nosed monkey. They inhabit mountain forests up to elevations of more than 4,000 metres. Indian leopard. It has strong legs and body, a broad muzzle, short ears and small yellowish grey eyes with light grey ocular bulbs. The rosettes are larger than other leopard subspecies. Male Indian leopards grow to 142 centimetres with a 90 centimetre tail and weigh up to 77 kilograms Black Indian Leopard Indian Leopards are St. Patrick carnivores. They are not common in habitats where tiger density is high and are wedged between prime tiger habitat on one side and cultivated village land on the other. Inks Found in Northern India They are medium sized with a short tail and a bunch of hairs on the tips of their ears. Indian striped hyena. They range up to 40 kilograms in weight and grow to one and a half meters. The shoulder height is up to 75 centimeters. Indian wolf is a subspecies of the gray wolf. It has a lighter coat due to living in warmer conditions. They travel in small packs and are a little less vocal than other types of grey wolf. They have a reputation for being cunning. Indian wild dog. Indian jackal. They are opportunistic omnivores Indian fox or Bengal fox. Pangolin. They are the only mammal in the world to be covered from head to toe in scales. They eat an enormous 70 million insects every year. They can roll up into a hard spiky ball that can defeat even the jaws of lions, tigers and leopards. Indian peafowl, male peafowl, are known for their piercing calls and their extravagant plumage. Nilgai, or blue bull, is the largest Asian antelope 
and is found across the northern Indian subcontinent. Gazelle, black buck, indigenous to the plains of India. Ibex, a type of wild mountain goat. Marco is a type of goat. It stands 115 centimeters tall at the shoulder and is 186 centimeters in length and weighs up to 110 kilograms. Tar, they are large artiodactyl ungulates related to goats and sheep. And here's a wild boar. Tortoise. They live in forests and scrublands. Tortoises are completely terrestrial. Their shells are hard, heavy and dome shaped. Their limbs are thick and column like. They are primarily herbivores. They lay eggs by digging the soil and concealing their eggs in it. They can live up to 150 years. Coral snake. The four most venomous snakes on the Indian subcontinent are the common crate, Russell's viper, Indian saw scale viper, and of course the Indian cobra. This one here is an albino Burmese python. India is a home to a large variety of wildlife. It is a biodiversity hotspot with its various ecosystems ranging from the Himalayas in the north to the evergreen rainforest in the south, the desert sands of the west to the marshy mangroves of the east. Please stay and watch another video with me. I enjoy reading your comments and replying. Thank you for watching my video. See you again soon. See you guys in my next video.